This is an AlphaCool Ice Bear, or in English, Ice Bear, 280 millimeter CPU water cooler. And I wanna put this into my brand new state-of-the-art video editing system. This is a high-end system with an Intel i9-9900K processor, 32 gigs of RAM, um, a 2070 8 gig video card. This is probably about as state-of-the-art that I can go right now. And it's super fast. And it's not that this Cooler Master isn't doing a good job of cooling it. It's that the pump is constantly gurgling air bubbles very loudly. And the fans are constantly... You hear them rattling and the noise of them ramping up and down is really terrible. I've got three Natura fans in here and two Cougar fans and they're like dead silent compared to these fans. So the Cooler Master is just not a good fit for this workstation. So we're going to take out that Cooler Master. We're going to show you the difference between that and the Alpha Cool, And you're going to see what the difference is between a $99 water cooler and a $150 water cooler. So I'm Joel Lightcatcher. Stay tuned and um, let's go check this out. On the table here, we have the two water coolers, the Cooler Master that was inside of my PC and the Alpha Cool that I'm going to put into my PC. This again is the Master Liquid ML240R RGB. The nice thing about this water cooler is it's got these cool LED lights. This is a $99 water cooler. This water cooler has no RGB lights, just a blue glow on the front, but it's a $150 water cooler and is a much higher quality. Okay, yes, it is $50 more than this, but it's way more quality. I'm gonna show you the details right now. Let's start with the noise level of the pumps and the fans. I happen to have a power supply here, and I am going to plug this in to the different fans. Let's start with the pump motor. I complained about the gurgling that this pump makes that drives me absolutely crazy. I'm gonna take my microphone <laughs> off here, place it here and turn the power switch on. I want you to listen. You hear that? That drives me absolutely crazy especially when I turn it on or when the heat gets up. This gurgling, even in my quiet cabinet, it is really annoying. Now let's listen to the other one, the Alpha Cool. I'm gonna unplug this. And I have the pump here. Again, there's only one connection because there is no RGB. I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see it. Bring over my microphone. And let's listen to this now. A little hum. No gurgling. This also has, I don't know if you can see it, there's a chamber there. You can actually see the pump spinning in any water bubbles in the system. I'm sure there's a lot of water bubbles here. And watch this, I don't know if you can see this in the camera. I'm gonna turn it off. And I don't know if you can see the, let me see if I can zoom in here. Notice the impeller there. Can you see that? It's not moving right now. And if I turn this on, you can see it is spinning around. You'll also notice that we really don't have any air bubbles in there, which is what you want. And again, if I move my microphone closer, I can hear a light hum. I'm going to put the microphone in contact with the, mo with the pump. Can you hear it? Barely audible when it's in the case. Let's do the fans now. Now listen to the fans. Now this is the fan that came with the Cooler Master. And then of course we have RGB on one side. And uh, power here. Plug that in. 
and then I'm going to turn the fan off. Okay, I've got the fan plugged in now for the Cooler Master, which has the RGB lights that are not connected. Listen to the fan. I hate that rattle. It drives me crazy. Let me do that one more time and listen for that rattle. That was driving me nuts. Now, now let's try the Alpha Cool. I'm going to plug in the Alpha Cool fan now. And I want you to listen to this. Big difference. You notice no rattle. Let me do that again. And that's that. That's by the way, I want to also mention that this fan, if you look at the back somewhere, I believe it says Powered by Be Quiet. This is actually a Be Quiet fan that's been private labeled for Oh Cool. Be Quiet and Oh Cool have a thing together, and they co-brand things. So we have a quiet fan, a quiet pump, a loud pump, a loud fan. Now, there is one more thing. There is one more other thing I want to show you. I have the scale here. First thing I noticed when I took out this was the weight. The Alpha Cool is really quite heavy. This is an aluminum fan, and I also noticed we had some dents in here when I first unpackaged it. Now, obviously, um, I don't think I can put the whole thing on here. So let's just support this as best I can. And my scale says 638 grams, pretty much. Again, aluminum fan, and it's a uh, 120. Now I'm going to take this 240 fan. And this 240 fan is also all copper. And when I inspect it, there's absolutely no dents in here. So I'm going to put it on here and support the weight of the pump as best I can. And this is coming in at 964 grams significantly heavier. Again, aluminum is light, copper is heavy. Aluminum does not conduct heat like copper does. Now also, just to be fair, let's look at the pumps best we can. The Alpha Cool pump is a pump and a reservoir all together coming in at about 508 grams, roughly. And the Cooler Master, and again, I'm trying not to put any weight on there. It is coming up at about 505 grams. Again, those are not perfect weights. Obviously, I am having to support something. But you can see that this is so much more beefy than this. Again, 240 fan, 280 fan. But the real difference is aluminum versus copper, which is why I went with this. Stronger fans. These are 140 fans, and these are 120 fans. Now, some of you might be saying, well, that's not a fair comparison. Well, believe me, if this was a copper radiator, it still wouldn't be of the same quality as this. If you even look at it carefully, I can bring them both here as best I can. You can see the fittings. This is a challenge. The fittings here and the look at the uh, the inputs on these radiators are quite different. This has wires on flexible uh, tubes. This has uh, braided cable over tubes. This has shrink app. This has shrink uh, tubing fittings. And this has actual one quarter removable. This is expandable. This is not. Really, really big difference. Earlier I took some um, benchmarks settings on the Cooler Master and after we put the Alpha Cool in, we're going to double check that. So let's see um, what we do next. I'm going to put this into my computer now and then we will see the results.
Well, that took entirely longer than I expected. We had a few problems. The uh, plastic retainer, the bracket that goes behind the motherboard, uh, it's kind of fragile, and if you tighten the screws too much, it breaks, and that's what happened. Uh, it's in there. I'm not entirely comfortable. It seems secure, but I'm not comfortable, so I'm going to contact uh, the vendor I bought it from, and uh, or Alpha Cool, see if they'll send me another bracket for the back because I don't want to keep it long term. The other big surprise was I had to rotate the pump 90 degrees because it just barely fits horizontally. Um, that top line is really stretched as far as it can. Um, I'm not too comfortable with that. I'm going to see if they can get me an extension for that. Uh, so I have a little slack there. I would have liked to have turned it the right way. And if they can get me some slack and exchange those hoses, then I can do that. And it is a modular system, so that's entirely possible. Other than that, we're ready to fire it up. Let's see how she goes. I'm going to put it back on my desk, and uh, I'll see you in a moment. <clears throat> oh, one more thing, one more thing. You're probably wondering, why did I not use this fan splitter? Well, the reason is because I previously had two separate lines. I have the... Um, fan, the, the CPU fan, and the CPU opt fan. So I have two connections on this motherboard and I connected each fan to each of those connectors as opposed to having a two into one and that's why I don't need this. So your, mile, your mileage may vary, you may need this, you may not need this. I didn't need it. Alright, we're going to power up for the first time with the new water cooler. Let's see if everything goes well. Here we go. <sighs> Hope I plugged everything in correctly. The lights are on. For the monitor, okay, keyboard and mouse came on. The O cool light is on. I mean, the aqua cool, OC cool, OC O O L, whatever that is, it's there. I think it just went through a sec. There we go. It went through a second reboot. I guess it had to configure itself. And we have a desktop. So, it looks good. The fans are definitely spinning. I think we got a winner here. So put the cover back on. And we need to do, I guess the next thing I gotta do is a fan calibration. And clean all those smudges off of my glass. I gotta do a fan calibration now and then we'll do some benchmarks and see how the changes in the cooling.